All right, guys, I'm back. And today's video, we're going to talk about how to set up the perfect ad for your cool sculpting, body sculpting, body contouring business uh, slash studio. Um, these are some of the different types of ads that we've ran uh, in the past for clients that um, have worked and that are continuing to work. Um, today's example is going to be just a example um, and an, an example ad and an example ad account. Um, that's not actually live and running right now. Um, it's just uh, for demonstration purposes only. Um, so we get a lot of questions um, from body contouring professionals about obviously how to get more leads, how to get more patients, and just how to grow their studio in general. So um, here's a, a pretty basic type of ad that that works it's not super complicated um, where we use a simple facebook ad and then a sales funnel to book calls um, what you want to do is book phone consultations um, and then you schedule them either for um, their first treatment or you schedule them to come in for an in-person consultation where you can then further um, explain the the services how it's going to benefit them Etc., and get them to sign up for a package. So, um, what we're going to do so, we always are going to start with a lead um, campaign objective, or um, well, either way, it'll be a lead objective, whether we're using an external third party landing page or funnel, or just using Facebook lead forms. Um, the objective here, guys, is to get leads. Um, I'm sure, you know, if you've tried advertising in the past and you've tried messages. Um, or engagement campaigns or just boosting posts, you probably see that those don't work very well. So the uh, the idea is to capture their name, email, and phone number so you can follow up with them and book them um, a consultation. So um, when you're starting your new campaign in Facebook Ads Manager, you're going to start with the lead objective. Um, in this example here, we're using a third-party landing page, so I can show you exactly how all that works. Um, so uh, we already have the Facebook pixel installed um, and our events set up. If you need help with that, there's tons of other videos on YouTube that'll show you how to set up a Facebook pixel um, or how to configure your events. So that way, when someone opts in to claim your offer um, or, you know, signs up for your landing page, that's being tracked in the back end as a conversion. Um, so Facebook can see and you can see how many conversions you received from a specific ad. So um, that's all set up. So our conversion event is a 70% off non-surgical. Um, that's just the name of the event of the conversion event that we're using. Um, the, you can call your conversion event, anything you want, but when, the, when somebody successfully submits the form on our funnel, that's being tracked as a 70% off non-surgical, um, lead. So, um, right up here, we set up our website. Um, there's choose where you want to generate leads. Like I said, guys, we're either going to be doing website or instant forms. Those are the only two options we're really going to use. Um, messenger leads. Yes. Sometimes they'll generate messages, but most of the time they don't follow up with you. Um, this can be good for a super low budget campaign. If you're just testing the waters and you want to try a messenger campaign at a couple dollars a day, just to see if you can get some messages. But most of the time you'll find that the people that message you rarely, um, respond or even read your messages most of the time. Um, so we found it's a lot better to collect their information. That way you can call your lead, text your lead, follow up with them. Um, or ideally you get them to call and text you, which we'll show you how to do in this video. So um, in this instance, we have a website um, conversion location set. That's because we're directing people off of Facebook onto a third party funnel um, that we've built. Um, so in our targeting, um, you know, you can set up your targeting anyway, you know, as far as your age, um, gender, location. So in this particular um, example, we went super broad. We're targeting most of the states in the Southwest. Um, and we are targeting women between 30 and 56 years old. And down here in the detailed targeting, most of the time, I mean, and, and you can test this as well. Um, but what we're finding is most of the time, leaving this completely broad seems to work best for generating leads. And we let the ad itself kind of do the targeting, meaning our uh, images or videos that we're using, um, the, the ad text that we're using, we're letting that actually uh, 
target people based on Facebook's algorithm. So Facebook will read your, you know, uh, ad copy. It'll look at your text. It'll look at your images, your video, and it'll automatically, their algorithm will auto automatically know kind of what, who to, who to target in that, in that case. So we generally don't use a lot of interest-based targeting. I mean, again, it's always worth testing, but in this example, we're leaving it completely broad, just targeting women 30 to 56 years old and just setting our locations to target. Um, down here, we normally like to target just the Facebook feed and the Instagram feed, um, depending on what your creative is. Like if you have videos, which we do recommend a lot nowadays, just because videos, video content seems to be working much better. Um, you can definitely come down here and select Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Facebook reels, Instagram reels, just to get your ad in the reels and stories as well. But for this example, we just are using static images. Um, so we have Facebook feed and Instagram feed selected everything else is unselected um so then we come down we come over here to the actual ad level and so in this case we're not advertising the actual price of the treatment um just because as you know if you're a body sculpting um studio you know most people of course are going to ask you the price but sometimes it's not always a cut and dry answer just depending on what area um the patient um, wants treated, whether it's their arms, legs, belly, whatever. Um, different people might need a different number of treatments. So you can set up different packages. So what we normally do is we just mention a, uh, a discount, like 50% off, 70% off. Um, this gets them to kind of wonder about, you know, it's a big discount. So they're going to want to inquire and see what, you know, how much that is. If, the, if they've been thinking about body sculpting or um, body contouring at all. Um, and they see 70% off, they're going to probably inquire and be like, oh, wow, like maybe it is time to get a quote, time to get a price and see exactly uh, how much this costs and see if this is something I want to go through with. So um, in this particular example, we're using 70% off any of our non-surgical aesthetics procedures, um, including fat reduction, cellulite reduction, skin tightening. Um, because, so this is like a new, body sculpting studio, we're needing promotional content um, and brand ambassadors. So basically what we're doing is we're doing almost not really a model call, but it is kind of a model call. We're saying, hey, we need people to um, come in and we're going to give you 70% off and in exchange, we can use you in our promotional material. So that's a great way to get people to be interested. They want to be part of something. They want to save money. Um, so then down here, we just mentioned you know, non-invasive, no downtime, no, no discomfort. We just mentioned the basic advantages of going with a non-surgical um, fat loss treatment. Um, with any fat loss treatments, any body contouring, anything like that with Facebook, you have to be very careful about um, not using too much language. It's going to get your ad rejected or your whole ad account shut down. So you want to leave it pretty, you know, simple. You don't want to get too fancy and, and talk too much in the ad copy or else Facebook can definitely punish you for that. So that's why um, it's all pretty simple. We're, we're really harping on the fact that it's 70% off. It's fat reduction treatment, um, cellulite reduction, skin tightening. It's non-invasive, no downtime, no discomfort. Um, and then you want to give a, a time constraint on there. So hurry, this promotion ends this month. Sign up here, and then they click to the website. Um, in this particular ad, we're using a dynamic ad. And actually where we can set that is right here under dynamic creative we set that to on and what's that what that lets you do is over here at the ad level it lets you put in different variations of ad copy and images and headlines and everything and then facebook uses all these different combinations that you enter to see which one works the best so it'll let you put up to 10 images in a dynamic ad you can put 10 images you can put five versions of main text and then you can do five headlines and then five head sub headlines as well and it'll put all those combinations together to see which one is um you know which combinations are working best so um we have two versions here this is a slightly longer version you know we'd call this more of like a medium short to medium ad copy um, and this is definitely a super short ad copy. It's just 70% off our signature laser lipo fat loss treatment. Hurry promotion ends this month. And then once they click through to the ad, they go to the landing page, which explains it a little better. Um, but um, we did testing. And in, in, in this case, 
this ad copy actually perform better, just adding um, a little more information like this. And then um, we added some headlines down here. As you can see, we have four headlines, um, you know, 70% off fat loss treatments. It's really, um, again, harping on the fact that it's 70% off. That way, when you're scrolling through the feed and you see the ad over here, you see this, um, and then you'll kind of go back up and you'll read the copy and say, oh, what, you know, what's going on with this promotion? Why is it 70% off? They can read a little more. Um, and then as long as they're interested in it, they're going to click it. They're going to come over here to um, the funnel. And this is the funnel that we built out. So again, guys, this is reiterating the offer of 70% off for a limited time. Um, you know, non-surgical lipo alternatives. We And now on here is where you can explain a little bit more about the procedure, how it's going to help them, um, how it's going to help them with fat reduction, um, all the benefits and stuff. So you don't want to do too much of that in the ad copy. The ad copy is just enough to get them intrigued so they can click over to this page and now they can learn more about your treatment and about your offer. So here's the, the funnel that we built. This is just the first page, the landing page. Um, you can scroll down here and read about, you know, different, uh, you can read about the different benefits, um, the different, you know, why they should, you know, what this is going to do for them, how it's going to help them lose fat, um, explain that it's 70% off again. Um, and then again, down here, it's different, you know, exact different treatments that they can choose from. So again, this is really just to educate them a little bit on the treatment, why it might be right for them, why they want it, and then what the offer is, which is 70% off. Um, it gives them multiple opportunities here. They can click button uh, a button here. Um, they can click a button here at the top to claim the offer. So they're going to go ahead and click this. And now this is important, guys. So this now is one of the main um, parts of the funnel where what most med spa owners, beauty brands, body sculpting contours, um, contour businesses, what most do is they want, they expect the lead to just click through to their website and they're going to call and book an appointment. Um, it doesn't always work like that. You got to really set up your funnel to get them to that point. So they've already clicked, yes, I want this offer. So now what we do is we book a free phone consultation. So again, this is where now you can actually talk to them or your staff or yourself can talk to them and really explain to them why this treatment is right for them. Or if it isn't right for them, you can tell them why it isn't right for them and offer them maybe a different treatment instead. But either way, this is where you want to get them on the phone and you can really explain to them everything about your offer, answer any of their questions they have about pricing, about um, if it's going to work for them, offer if you guarantee results, uh, different things like that. So the idea here is to get them on the phone so then you can answer their questions, really sell this to them in a way that they're going to want to come in and get this treatment from you. Um, and then you can, while they're on the phone, you can um, get them right then and there to commit to a time and a date that they can come in, again, either to schedule either for their first treatment or for a in-person consultation where, again, you would meet them, um, show them the equipment, show them exactly how it works. And then again, you would get there, you would set them up either right then and there to do their first treatment, or, you know, they would come back at a later time and date to do their first treatment and you could um, get them into a package. So that's basically how, how this funnel works. The main goal in all of this is to just get them on the phone. So then that way, you can sell them on coming in for their first treatment. So um, again, it, go, it goes Facebook ad, landing page. Um, they click, yes, I want to claim this offer. Now they're on this page. Um, and now this is on this page, they're booking a time to call. Um, they're booking a time on your calendar to do a phone consultation. And the whole point of the phone consultation is to really get all their information and explain to them how your treatments are going to benefit them, and then to schedule an, in their first in-person appointment. So, I mean, that's really how this works. So, obviously, there's other automation and stuff in the back end. This this particular video isn't going to go over all that because that can get very complicated, and this video would be extremely long. 
Um, this video is more about how to just set up a basic Facebook ad to your sales funnel to start getting uh, booked appointments. So, um, but as far as the more advanced automation goes, you know, on the back end, we have automatic text messages that go out, automatic emails that go out. Um, some of our clients we work with even have call centers where, um, you know, a call center, as soon as the lead uh, enters their information, a call center will actually call them and try to get them to book an in-person appointment. So these are different automations that we set up on the back end. Um, but for, like I said, for this video, this is going to be about how to run a Facebook ad to just kind of get you started. So um, at this screen, they're going to set up a time when they want to talk to you through, um, you know, a phone call. Um, they can pick a time and a date. So let's just say the 19th at 11 a.m. we wanna talk. Um, this is when I'm, I, the lead wants to schedule their phone consultation. So we select that. And now this is where we get their information. So, um, you know, we'll just say test first name, last name, put in a phone number and an email. Okay, so now they're become they're officially becoming a lead at this point. They're booking, they're claiming their offer, they're booking their phone consultation, and now you are getting their all of their contact details. So you can like let's say that they don't show up to their phone call, or um, you want to send them a quick welcome text message like, "Hey, thanks for reaching out. I'm super excited for our call that you have scheduled. Um, I just want to know if you have any questions or anything I could answer for you right now." Um, anything like that, you can, you can now reach out to them because now they just give you their phone number. They gave you their email address. Same with email. You can add them to your email database and send them, you know, once you build your database up, you can send out monthly promotional offers, offers for mother's day, Christmas, Valentine's day, whatever, because as soon as they become a lead, even if they don't buy something from you right now, you have their contact information. You can continue marketing them in the future through text message marketing and email marketing. Um, so I click book appointment. It knows I entered a fake phone number. So let's add a different one. Okay. Book appointment. Boom. So now in the back end, their contact information just got sent to this, um, particular body contouring facilities, um, database. So now this elite here has their phone number, their email address, their name. So again, we have a lot of automation set up. So now this lead is automatically getting text messages, thanking them for um, signing up for this offer, reminding them of their phone appointment. And um, and yeah, so, and then they can save their information, their phone number and their email address for future marketing purposes. Um, so now you would get a um, text message saying, hey, you have a new lead that just signed up. They want their phone consultation to be at this date and at this time. And now all you do is contact the lead at that date and time and you set them up for the phone call uh, or you set them up, you, you get on the phone for the phone consultation and then you um, use that as an opportunity to answer the questions, really sell them on how this is gonna benefit them and then get them to come in for the in-person um, consultation or their first treatment. Um, I know no shows are also a huge issue in the, um, you know, beauty biz world. So, um, what some of our clients do is also use this as an opportunity to get their, um, credit card number so they can save that on file. That way, if they do, if they do no show to their first treatment or their in-person consultation, um, you charge them like a $10 or $20 fee for no calling and no showing. So, not only can you use this opportunity to do a free phone consultation and to book them in um, for their first in-person treatment, but then you can let them know, hey, you are going to need to take down their phone number or their their credit card details over the phone. That way you're just saving it on file and they're only gonna get charged if they no call, no show to their appointment. So I hope this helps. Um, again, this is just a basic Facebook ad to a basic funnel. Um, it does and can get a lot more advanced than this with automations and things like that. So if you do have any specific questions about that, feel free to send us a message, either leave a comment here in the comments, or you can reach out to us on beautyamplify.com. That's where you can go and send us a message. If you have specific questions, we'd be glad to 
answer um, any specific questions about your particular beauty business and um, let you know how we do it for some of our other clients. Um, we also have a free checklist there on beautyamplify.com. I'll leave the link in the description. That's where you can go and download a basic checklist on how you can get started um, with some basic Facebook, Instagram, and Google um, techniques and strategies to start getting found online by your potential patients. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.